The beloved teen author of Judy Bloom's book, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, comes to life on the big screen. The film stars Rachel McAdams, Kathy Bates, and Abby Ryder Forreston as the 11-year-old Margaret who is searching for answers to her life. Film critic Pam Pal sits down with the screenwriter and director Kelly Freeman Craig to talk about the adaptation and shares more on Craig's connection to the story and how she brought all of these characters to life, making it an absolute gem for moms, teens, and tweens. Let's take a look. Thank you so much for joining me on CI Living TV to talk about your new film, Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret, based on the Judy Bloom book from back in the day, and kids are still reading it today. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, a favorite film of mine from a few years ago is one that you wrote and directed, The Edge, Edge of 17, um, and you captured the the nuances and the horrors and the comedy of being a 17-year-old. And now you're jumping back on the timeline a little bit and capturing that other awkward time period, that preteen 11-year-old with Margaret. Um, there's so much awkwardness in this in adolescence. It's all it's top to bottom. <laughs> it truly is. And and you find the humor and the heart within it all. Oh, thank you. Um, tell me, why did you pick this particular Judy Bloom book? Especially because I just learned that that was banned in the 1980s. I didn't realize that. Yes. Yeah. Um, I first of all, I read it when I was 11, and it just, oh, it just it just got into my heart and never left. So first of all, um, but after I made the edge of 17, I was thinking about what I, what I wanted to do next. And, um, and I was thinking about the authors that, that I loved most and Judy Bloom was, was number one. Um, and so I went back and I started rereading all of her work. And when I got to this one, I, when I got to Margaret, I just, Oh, I just was uh, so swept up in all those same feelings all over again. Um, and and I had all sorts of new feelings, you know, because now I was coming to it as an adult, as a mom, you know. Um, and so um, I, I just really felt that it would make a beautiful film. And it, it is interesting to take a look at actually anything that we see in movies or in a book that we read when we're younger, because we don't have all of life's experiences. And now looking back as you're reading this book as an adult, and I just, I had so much fun with the film. Can you tell me, were there particular aspects that you changed from the book to the film, or did you stay pretty true to everything? I can't remember. Yeah, um, it's, it is a, it is a pretty faithful adaptation that was important to me um, because I love the book so much, but it expands Margaret's mom and Margaret's grandma. And because what I really wanted to do was um, have them all going through life transitions in tandem um, and show that we're, you know, how in certain ways we're, we're all coming of age right at every age. You yes, know? <laughs> absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and so I really want to hone in a little bit. Um, my film critic partner, Chuck couldn't make it. I wasn't sure what he was going to think about this. He's a bit of an old curmudgeon, but he absolutely loved the film as well. And we were talking about a particular scene between Margaret and her mom played by Rachel McAdams. And mm -hmm. it's a, a scene where uh, Rachel McAdams character breaks down and, and tells Margaret about mm -hmm. her trials and tribulations between her and her parents or Margaret's grandparents. Can you tell me about that scene? Scene and why, in my mind, that's a really pivotal scene for the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, I Rachel McAdams' performance there just, oh, just heartbreaking. Knocks me flat every time I've seen it six thousand times because I edited edited the movie. But I, every time it makes me cry because she's so she's so perfectly, um, you know perfectly heartfelt there and you feel you feel the complicated feelings of motherhood where you don't want to ever burden your child with your emotions or right. your as you were saying your trials you know you want to just be a pillar of strength for them um so in particular I was so moved by the way she tries not to cry you know she tries to hold all of that back and really and keep up that sort of 
that strength for her daughter, but but you feel you feel the emotion breaking through. I think she's just oh, I think she's just riveting and beautiful there. I know what my takeaway from this movie is, and, and I'm sure I'm running out of time here. So I want to ask you, what is your takeaway and what do you hope others will take away from this brilliantly creative and wonderful family film? Oh, gosh. I hope most of all people relate. You know, I, I hope that they I hope they watch it and see themselves re reflected in it. I hope <laughs> they laugh. And I hope they go and tell their own stories to each other. I mean, that's what we see happen, you know, when people leave the theater. They just start, they just start telling their own awkward puberty tales. And it's <laughs> wonderful. And there's something cathartic about it, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Kelly, thank you so much, not only for joining me to talk about this brilliant film, but for creating it and bringing Judy Bloom's book to life. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. And we appreciate Pam for sharing that interview with us. We'll hear what Chuck and Pam think of that movie tomorrow. Yes. And